Hi boys and girls, Mr. McD here, and it's time for Wordly Wise. We had five words last week. Let's go over those really quick, and I'm gonna introduce five new words. So we had silky, metal, smooth, touch, and cushion. So I want you to keep reviewing those five words because you are gonna have a Wordly Wise vocabulary test on Thursday this week. With those five words and these five new words I'm going to give you, you need to know the words and their meanings this week, okay? So practice, practice, practice. Your new five words are include. So say it with me, include. What's it mean to include? Good, it means to allow people to be part of, to be a part of something. So you're including them in the game or to play. Sometimes it's hard for you guys to include other people to play. Yeah, true story. Comfort, what's it mean to comfort somebody? Good, it means to give them love, support. If someone's upset, you might comfort them by giving them a hug. Comfort. Stroke. What's it mean to stroke? It's a very gentle pat. Okay. This is a very good picture. If you stroke an animal, you got to be very gentle. Right. Does it mean if something's hard? Which object is hard in this picture? Good, the rock. The pillow is soft and the rock is hard. It's not fluffy. Okay, we use another vocabulary to describe hard. It's not fluffy. And the last one, gentle. So as using stroke, you wanna be very gentle when you touch. So you got the word touch, that's a vocabulary word from last week, or from last, yeah, last week, that's part of our vocabulary words, touch. You wanna to be very gentle. So whenever you have an animal like this young boy has a pet rabbit, you wanna be very gentle. Because if you pet it too hard, you might hurt it, okay? So you wanna be gentle. So let's go over those words real quick, one more time. Include, means allow everybody to be part of. Cards are sticking together. Comfort, bring love or comfort when maybe someone's upset or they're tired. Stroke, nice soft touch. Pat, you know, pat. Hard, it's opposite of soft, it's a good way to put it. And gentle, it means to be soft, loving, not hard, soft to the touch. So we're using a lot of our vocabularies to, vocabulary words to describe other vocabulary words this week, and that's okay. That helps us describe them. So what I would like for you to do today is to take your five new words, practice saying them, and what they mean, okay? And keep working on your words from last week because as I said, all 10 words you're gonna be assessed on Thursday on what they mean and how to say them, okay? So keep working on that and I will see you soon. And if you have any questions, as always, you can reach out to me. All right, see you tomorrow, bye.